Hey guys, ShadowJack05 back on the SilverJack05 channel. And guys, I just got back from GameStop and I got um, two things. Well, one of them is a new video game. I got Kirby in the, Forgo in the Forgotten Land. Sorry about that, which I'm really excited to play. Also, I got another one of the new FNAF figures. I have Toxic Springtrap, which is the second one. So I just have three more to get. And of course, I have System Error Bonnie here. I got this one over a month ago. I never did a review on him. Because when I got this one, um, the thing that I used for YouTube to upload still wasn't working. So once I get the chance, I'll do a review on him. So yeah, once again, once I finish the review on this guy, later on I'll do a review on this guy to make up for it. So yeah, I do still have this guy's packaging, so yeah, I'll include that too. But yeah, I have Toxic Springtrap. And just so you know guys, these figures can glow in the dark. Haven't really tried it yet because I, for some reason I just haven't gotten the chance to, but I'll see after the review. Or maybe when it gets darker here, because where I am right now, at the very moment where I'm recording, it's still light out. It's still light out where I am. So, yeah, and since it's still light out where I am at the time of, sorry, at the time, sorry about that, of recording this, yeah, I probably won't be able to do it. So, yeah. Anyways, let me move System Error Bonnie, right, yeah, I'll just set him right here. Okay, so Toxic Spring Trap. So we have the figure in there, it says Toxic Spring Trap right there. Because it glows in the dark, which I can't wait to see. And I've actually been looking for this one for a while now. Because when I got System Error Bonnie at one of the malls that I that I live near, um, I did not see this guy. I saw them all there except this guy. And when I was just at GameStop, they had all of them, including this guy, except System Error Bonnie. Who I luckily already have, as you saw. But it says Five Nights at Freddy's up there. FNAF AR Special Delivery right there. The game is he's from. And on the top there, it says Funko. It says collectible action figure. Then, of course, it has this cool background. It's all, like, technology and stuff, like circuits and everything for the background. Yeah. So let's turn... It has the warning choking hazard. Okay, now let's turn it around. Here's all the other figures. We have VR Freddy, Radioactive Foxy, High Score Chica, Toxic Springtrap, who we are reviewing now, and System Error Bonnie, who I already showed you. Well, just now, of course. I still have to do his reviews to make up for it, but I really want to get um, VR Freddy next. Yep. And I'll let my brother get Radioactive Foxy and High Score Chica, because he normally gets Foxy and Chica. I normally get Springtrap Freddy and Bonnie, so yeah. But yeah, like I said, they had all these guys at GameStop except this guy. But still, luckily I've already got this one. So, yeah. Let's get this guy out of the packaging. Wait, hang on, wait. First, before I do, I want to make sure there's nothing I missed. Oh, right. Almost missed something. That's the price I picked it up for. $12, almost. Five Nights at Freddy's. FNAF AR Special Delivery right there. It says, right there, collect them all. Okay, now let's open the box. Or the packaging, for that matter. Hmm. Let me see. Hang on, guys, I might have to cut the camera because I want to do this in a way where I don't have to, like, like cut into the sides of the plastic because if you watched my previous um, videos on FNAF action figure unboxings, um, even on my other channel where I first started doing it, I then you'll know how I used to do it. I used to, like, cut in from the sides of the plastic. I really don't feel comfortable doing that anymore, so I try to do it this way. I probably should have, um, like, these, like, side plastic things right here probably should have gotten those off before I started this review, but hey, at least I'm doing it now. Hang on. Okay, guys, I'm going to cut the camera, and once I'm able to get this guy out, I'll be right back, so give me a second. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I've almost gotten him out of the packaging. Just got to get him out of this plastic, just cut these strings, and then I'll be able to start the review. Okay, now these strings. Give me one second, guys. Oh my gosh. Hang on, let me see. Oh, here we go. Okay, there we go. Now I can get him out. Carefully, of course. Okay, and off came one of his legs, but that's all right. And let me get his other leg right there. Okay. The salt back in here. Then I'll set this over here. Okay. Then 
move these scissors right here, and then attach his other leg back on. First I thought that was going to be hard because it looked like it, but nope, it was easy. Okay. So here is Toxic Springtrap, which I think is a really cool figure. I don't rem remember mentioning this. If I, d if I already did, I'm just going to mention it again just in case. Springtrap ha um, is my favorite animatronic from Five Nights at Freddy's. It used to be just the... It used to be Bonnie, the one from the first FNAF game, but that was until FNAF 3 came out. So yeah, Springtrap has been my favorite ever since. That's why I was really excited and happy when I finally found this guy. So yeah, of course, I really like all this detail on him since he's toxic Springtrap. I really like how Funko put all this bubbling and purple stringy stuff all around his body and stuff, all the purple and stuff to make it look like he actually has like um, toxic waste and like poison on him. I really think Funko did a good job. So Funko, if you're watching this, good job. You made him look like as if he's actually like full of toxic waste and chemicals and stuff. I really like that. So yeah. So now let's talk about, hang on. Of course, we do have his eyes right there. Hang on. His eyes right there. Um, they look like they're the same color as the normal Springtrap action figure from Series 1 for the figures. I'm not sure. But of course, we do have his purple teeth right there. And so, yeah, now let's talk about articulation. So for articulation, it's basically like all the other FNAF figures. You can move the head. Can it do a 360? Yes, it can do a 360. Then we have the arms. They can go up and down like this, back and forth like this. And it looks like these can, arms can also do a 360. I think it's cool. Then, of course, the, it can move the elbows like this. And the hands can move and can also do a 360. Just like that. Then we have the legs. The legs can go back and forth like this. And, and they can move like this. Of course, you can bend at the knees, too. And so, yeah, that is pretty much um, it for this Toxic Springtrap figure. Um... Yeah, but yeah, like I said, I really like all this detail on him. I like the toxic waste and chemicals and stuff that they added to it. Once again, Funko, if you're watching this, good job. But uh, yeah, but yeah, guys, like I said, I I won't be able to um show you the glowing in the dark part since it's still light out where I am right now at this moment. So yeah, since it's still light out, I won't be able to show that at the moment. Sorry, guys. But that is why... um. Once I get all these figures, once I've got all five figures in this wave, I will then do a video where I have where I have all five of them together, and I'll wait. And on that day when I have all the figures, I'll get them all together. Wait till it gets dark out, and of course when I have time, of course, and then I'll show you guys that effect for all five of them when I get all five of them. But yeah, well, real quick, let me bring in System Error Bonnie real quick. Hang on, let me stand up with this guy a bit more. Okay. Yeah, these figures are absolutely amazing. So yeah, guys, what do you think of Toxic Springtrap? Let me know in the comments down below. And very soon, I will be doing a review for this guy to make up for him. But so, so yeah, until then, guys, I'll see you guys later. Bye.